Welcome back to Passport Style, everybody. It has been far too long and I have a crazy, crazy jacket to show you guys today. Before we get started very quickly, thank you, Brad. He had a, a piece commissioned. It is the uh, Passport Style, the current logo profile picture, um, hand-drawn by an artist. I'll have a link to that in the description. The thing I wanna show you today is maybe the single most valuable thing I own. If you look at recent sales, they're all over $4,000 on Grailed. This is the ready-made you know, bandana puffer jacket. It was released January 8th or 9th, uh, 2021. So just about a year ago now. The retail in Japan was 288,000 yen pre-tax, which is about uh, $2,800. And for the one or two boutiques in the United States that procured one or bought them at retail in Japan, we're selling them for over $5,000. So very, very briefly on ReadyMade, it is founded by a guy named Yuta Hosokawa. Uh, feature on their website is a very good uh, short explanation on who he is. He started ReadyMade uh, as an experiment in 2013, uses, I believe, all or nearly all upcycled materials, a lot of stuff. He likes to source uh, dead stock US military uh, textiles, as you know a way to promote world peace and more recently you know he continues to just snap with collabs uh with Bape. most recently i think he dropped a jacket that was over three grand just absolutely insane piece but to jump into this jacket i'm gonna have shots all throughout the video and at the end i will show it to you uh, me wearing it with a couple different outfits i absolutely adore this piece it is not you know not to mention extremely rare if I had to guess, just having Googled it a number of times, this was released in blue and red, I should say. I mean, I just can't imagine there being, you know, even 10 of these out there across both sizes. It was released in a size one and two. Size one, I guess you could liken to a small medium and size two, kind of like a large to extra large. Um, what's really fortunate for me about this jacket is I have, you know, pretty large arms as you can kind of see in some of my videos and they, you know, I continue working on them and yet uh, I'm able to fit into this jacket um, somewhat comfortably. There's a slight amount of room left um, and I can wear this. This is the size two. I actually traded someone for this jacket. I traded a VisVim jacket that I've shown in a previous, um, a previous vlog. This guy, um, I learned about this jacket actually. He bought it on Grailed. One week it was the most expensive sale on Grailed. He spent $4,500 on it. Um, another sale recently was over four grand. I just traded a VisVim, another very rare VisVim jacket for this. And what you're gonna notice is that this is used, uh, this is made using completely, um, you know, upcycled vintage US bandanas. So another reason there can only be a few of these is because it relied on uh, Utah Hosokawa finding enough bandanas in blue and in red and then putting them together to make these jackets. I'm not really sure which one is rarer, the red or the blue, but I can say definitively that I've seen the blue resold more often. I don't know if that's because, you know, for, for whatever reason. Um, but there was also a, like a lighter weight version of this jacket, a parka, this is the puffer. There was also a parka release. You can Google around, they're really fun to look at. Um, every single one is one of one. As you can see very clearly, um, all the bandanas, of course, are, are one of one, but the liner is, you know, is the same liner across all of these pieces. So when I got this jacket, it came with a retail tag. It did come with a piece of, you know, a replacement liner that's somewhere hiding in my closet, um, but the liner is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors of the flowers on here. There's one inside pocket uh, that you can see, and it goes all the way to the bottom. There are also adjusters, you know, like elastic adjusters on both sides. So, you know, if you want, if you need it to be a little bit baggier around your waist, uh, you can open that up a little bit. You can adjust the wrists as well. I usually just keep them pretty loose. Um, so I can just fit my Series 3 Apple Watch under there. Um, the jacket itself is, all, is very heavy. I mean, this weighs at least a few pounds, I think. It has very heavy, um, I forget the name of the, the Italian zippers, you know, very, very premium stuff. I remember looking at photos of this online and I remember thinking that the zippers look kind of cheap, but that is definitely not the case in person. 
So I, I plan on holding this at least through this season. If you want to make offers on this, that's totally fine. I love, you know, wearing things and then getting new cool things and, and just, you know, always rotating my style. Um, I'm going to show you guys wearing this with shorts and long pants. Frankly, you can wear this with whatever you want, sweatpants, skinny jeans, shorts in the middle of winter with, with cap socks or short socks. I don't really care. This thing speaks for itself. And I really want to know your guys' thoughts on this piece. Is it worth the price? What do you think about the design? Um, I'm curious about everything and I look forward to replying to everyone below. Hit like, hit subscribe. I will see you guys next time.